It was an open show of shame at the Ibom All Grounds, venue of the International Women's Day celebrations. Monday, as a female member of the Aqua Ibom State Executive Council, Dr. Glory Edet flouted the rules of the wife of the state governor, Dr. Martha Udom Emanuel, thereby insulting a person and office. Hello everyone, you welcome to the news. It was revealed that the First Lady had instructed the wives of all 31 local government chairmen in the state to mobilize women for the event, even as each local government area was told to bring a maximum of 40 women with conveyed in two buses. An eyewitness account added that while the wife of any local government chairman, Mrs. Edith Idaisin, who is also the women coordinator of Maintain Peace Movement, in each chapter had carried out the instruction of the first lady through the commissioner for women affairs dr ini diakwan the commissioner for agriculture dr glory edit bought brought five buses filled with women from across different local government areas in the state to the venue causing a rowdy session and posed as embarrassment to the first lady the commissioner for women affairs dr ini diakwan who didn't find Edith's action reasonable had opposed and questioned the rationale for her actions. Dr. Idiakwan's question erupted into a severe argument which led to exchange of blows between Glory Edith and Ini Adiakwan. The Commissioner for Agriculture was quoted as yelling at the top of her voice, I am the Dean of Commissioners and leader of all women in the state. I have the right to bring women to this event and nothing anyone can do to stop me, she said. The arguments and physical combat between the door of Dr. Edith and her women ensued as they wanted to occupy the canopy reserved for any women, which were duly led by Mrs. Idia Singh at the time the first lady arrived at the venue of the event. During the march past, the Dean of Commissioners again left her exalted seat on the podium and insisted that her women um, were to line to match an action which again was opposed by the Commissioner for Women Affairs. The commotion at that point attracted the attention of Her Excellency who had to send for Glory Edith to return to her seat. She flouted the orders of the First Lady through Senator Akon Anya Kengi, insisting that her women must partake in the match past. The women were withstood by those who came with the Chairman's wife. In her effort to further calm nerves, the First Lady asked the Deputy Speaker of the State House of Assembly, Honorable Felicia Bassi, to approach Dr. Edith to jettison her efforts to showcase her women, since the wife of her chairman was on ground as directed by her office, but Edith insisted that she was in charge and unstoppable. Dr. Edith's refusal to oblige with the First Lady's directive led to a fight between the women that she brought and the any women who came with Mrs. Edith Idaisi. The security details attached to Dr. Edith engaged in a serious fight with those who came with the wife of Chairman of Eni, and at that point, government house security details were drafted in, and together with only God security team, they were able to send them out of the venue of the orders of the of Her Excellency Dr. Martha Udom Emanuel. Dr. Ire too made a different feeding arrangement for the women that she brought, approached the podium and made an attempt to return to her seat, but was rebuffed by Her Excellency, who was so angry and shouted angrily on her not to dare the podium but should be taken away by the security details. This was carried out to the letter as she was dragged away and molested by the security team. The First Lady, who felt highly embarrassed, left the venue midway into the event which had to end due to the insults from Dr. Glory Edith to Her Excellency. The source from the government house, who pleaded anonymity, confided in the Wheel newspapers that Dr. Edith has made it part of her habit to be insulting the First Lady. The First Lady of every state is always accorded the highest form of regard and respect because of the office held by her husband. But when such, you know, 
a rancor happens between the first lady and the commissioner of a state where they had to be shouting at each other where they had to openly flaunt you know rules of engagement of the particular function they were attending and when it got to the point of having dragged you know having a commissioner dragged of a public function like the international women's day that was celebrated then this is a cause for concern right so people said as the source alleged that um, it's common for the commissioner to always insult the first lady is there an underlining reason why this is so has it been addressed before i feel as mature women there should be a way to resolve issues right rather than having that kind of battle you know in a public function this is not a good image for the governor of Ibom state and also to his wife the first lady it's very rare to have this kind of occurrence happen and when it happens it calls for solutions and communication this is not the last we're going to hear about this we hope the governor will step into this and resolve the issues between these two women so what's your opinion on this please remember to drop your constructive comments in the comment section below and remember to like share and subscribe to this channel thank you so much for watching i'll see you in my next news bye for now and god bless nigeria